Good morning. Today we are going to learn about the second chapter of the standard 7 history civics that is the rise and spread of Islam. Islam is one of the biggest religion of the whole world which was spread during the medieval period and the founder of Islam was Prophet Muhammad. Islam created a fusion of Hindu and the Muslim culture. Prophet Muhammad was born in Mecca in 570 CE. He learned new ideas from many cultures. Once he received God's message when he was 40 years old and that he had to be the messenger of God. He said one to that one must surrender himself to the Almighty Allah and, and all should follow the teachings of Quran. He emphasized that God is one. There are basically five pillars of Islam. They are Shahadat, Salat, Zakat, Swam and Hajj. The first one declares one's faith in the Almighty God and to believe in Muhammad. The second one, it asks a person to have to pray for five times a day. Then, to give to those who are in need, to help the ones who are in need. To keep a fast during the holy month of the Ramadan and that everyone should have a pilgrimage to Makkah at least once in a life. The Hijrat In 622, Prophet Muhammad travelled from Makkah to Medina with all his supporters and this journey was known as the Hijrat, also spelled as Hijra and it marks the beginning of the Islamic calendar. The successors of Muhammad were known as the Khalifas and were called as Caliphates. They were basically in the beginning four important successors. They were the Abu Bakr, the Umar, the Usman and the Ali. The Caliphate system started in this way when the Umar, the first one, was assassinated six years after being named the Caliph. After him, Uthman, Muhammad's son-in-law, came into the role. When Uthman was also killed, Ali, who was Muhammad's cousin and son-in-law, was selected as the next Caliph. During these four Caliphs, Arab Muslims conquered many parts of Middle East and which included Syria, Palestine, Iran, Iraq. In this way, Islam spread throughout the areas in Europe, Africa and Asia. The caliphate system it lasted for centuries and eventually evolved the Ottoman Empire. And with the end of the World, Man, World War I, the Ottoman Empire also finished. During this time, they have got a lot of achievements. The first one was the political achievement. They were orderly administrated. The collection of tax was very, very strict. They had a high communication system and the degree of law and order was very strict. They progressed in industries. Scientifically, they developed their agriculture. People were very much skillful. The knowledge of decimal was also spread by the Arabs. The very famous algebra, trigonometry and geometry in maths was also developed by the Arabs. The very famous mariner's compass. The Arabs, they learnt this mariner's compass used from the Chinese as they were very, very skillful. Lastly, the art and architecture. They knew the art of calligraphy, the designing, and with that, they also designed wonderful buildings, the beautiful minars, the domes, and beautiful pillars and miniatures. These all formed the part of the architecture of the Arab's time. And lastly, it all says that Islamic period, it made a tremendous effect on the Indian culture. As I've told you, it was a fusion. It brought a fusion 
in the Muslim and the Hindu culture. Across many continents, it also affected the political and the cultural life of the people living there. That is all for the presentation. Hope you understand. Thank you.